Hi, my name is Jeremy and I'm one of the business development consultants at Coapt. And today I'm here to talk to you about the Renters Reform Bill. The Renters Reform Bill, it's recently been published by the government and it proposes significant changes that will have a profound impact on landlords, particularly in what we specialise in, and that is the student rental sector. Currently, students and landlords alike, they can enjoy the security of a fixed term tenancy. This will provide stability for the duration of the academic year. However, under this new proposed bill, fixed term tenancies will be banned, placing all properties, including student houses, on periodic, otherwise known as, as open-ended tenancies. While this does appear to offer greater flexibility for students, it will present challenges for landlords and it will potentially jeopardise the housing stability. Ultimately, this will outweigh any benefit to the student at the height of a renting crisis. With the removal of fixed term tenancies, landlords will experience increased void periods during the summer months. Uh, you know, students will exercise their right for a two month notice and they will leave early. This could push landlords to consider alternative options such as renting to professionals or turning to platforms like Airbnb. Um, obviously, this is going to further diminish the availability of student rental properties. On the other hand, some landlords, they may decide to increase rents, you know, to protect the possibility of a summer period. So they'll earn the same amount just in a shorter period. Another possible outcome is the proposal of the increased financial burden on landlords. This is extra additional costs for them in finding new tenants every single time. Um, and this will give them the choice to, you know, stay and pay the price or just exit the market completely. Obviously, this is going to deter landlords from renting to students, and this will lead to a contradiction, you know, in the student housing market and a heightened competition for available student properties. Uh, a possible solution to this, though, is the implementation of standardised tenancy agreements, but tailored to student rentals. So, for example, these agreements would incorporate specific provisions and terms commonly applicable to student tenancies reducing the need for extensive negotiation and obviously all the associated costs. Likewise, extensive guidance and accessible resources would be provided to help landlords and agents alike to navigate the transition to open-ended tenancies. Stu Rents co-founder Tom Walker, he takes a different stance, uh, you know, from the doom and gloom. And he actually stated quite recently that <clears throat> A change like this would represent a huge shift from the status quo, but could also serve property managers well. A more evenly distributed house hunting season is easier to resource and less chaotic. However, uh, the Scottish experience does provide a cautionary tale. When Scotland implemented similar reforms, private landlords, they shifted away from the student market uh, seeking long-term tenants uh, to avoid the void periods. Now, this obviously resulted in a reduction in the supply of student housing and therefore pushed rents up. Homelessness rates among students also surged, with many facing difficulties to find adequate housing. The repercussions highlight the potential consequences of banning fixed-term tenancy agreements for students and present a comparable future for student PRS. The NUS, so the National Union of Students, uh, have shown overall support for the proposed reforms, despite concerns about potential uncertainties and shortages in the student rental sector. So the NUS, they do argue against exempting students from the new reforms, stating that such an exemption would create an in inequitable situation where students become marginalised um, and tenants, therefore, devoid of the same protection as, as the normal renter. While the Renters' Reform Bill does aim to improve standards by aligning the rights of students with those of non-students, it must consider the unique circumstances of student life. Students, they operate on a yearly cycle. So 
fixed term tenancy agreements, they, they actually give them the stability and the availability to rent with their friends all year round. These proposed changes may force students into a fragmented living arrangement with individuals competing for houses, potentially leading to more stress and therefore more mental health issues. Additionally, purpose-built student accommodation registered with the government uh, will still be allowed to utilise fixed term tenancy agreements. Uh, but these accommodations are often more expensive than student HMOs, uh, widening the affordability gap further. And these prices, they're going up and up. As the NUS does sit on the board uh, for the Office of the Independent Adjudicator and UCAS, uh, their support to the bill is significant and begs the question as to whether their alliance is well informed and in tune with the volatility of this market. So, how will COACT adapt to these changes if the bill is to be implemented into legislation? Since the publication of the Renters Reform Bill in mid-2022, we have been diligently following developments. You know, our dedicated team have been actively studying provisions outlined in the Renters Reform Bill, analysing their potential effects on landlords and developing strategies to mitigate any potential challenges that may arise in the future should the bill be implemented. Now, obviously, we do understand the importance of keeping landlords informed and empowered. We know that this is going to enable them, you know, to make informed decisions and adapt their rental practices in accordance with the new legislation. So with that, you know, please do contact someone like myself, you know, contact our business development team today um, and find out how your property portfolio can be protected because we're here to help. All right. So I hope that was useful. Um, please contact Carabs if you want any more guidance. Thank you.